welcome back to the channel today i wanted to make a video about the molten akari asari i'm not really sure how to pronounce it but as you move through this game you will find this giant giant molten lava spooder and you have to kill him and it's an incredible experience and an incredible fight but the mechanics and stuff like that aren't super clear on like a first or second run through so if you're struggling with this boss i'm going to try and help the best that i can right here hit the like button subscribe all that kind of good stuff if you wish to if you don't that's fine too and let's get into it so when you spawn into this fight it's just you versus the spooder and he is pissed first and foremost the health bar as you see and as i said is segmented into three phases when you look at the boss his little health bar also has three segments but you can ignore that because the little health bar that happens when you look at him is the amount of health for one third of his total health so once you wipe out all of his health while you're looking at him he will go down one third and move on to the next phase and in the next phase he'll get all of his health back when you look at him so it's a little bit confusing but just focus on the segmented health at the top rather than the health when you're looking at him if that makes it a little bit easier so what you want to look for here in this first kind of little sequence is big blue circles on the floor that means he's going to jump at you and land in on that circle so if you are not out of that circle he's going to do a lot of damage to you you should also look around for pools of lava and the outside of the actual map is also lava and that can also burn you too so you want to just avoid any kind of a jumping attack some of his other attacks here do hurt you but i don't think it's anything too drastic to worry about but the mechanics here is his little big ball on his back has a shell you want to knock his shell off reveal his little gooey insides and shoot his gooey insides as you can see on the screen again something like twisted rounds really really useful here once you get him down to one third health gone he will move into his second phase now his second phase isn't too dissimilar to his first phase except he will start the phase by having loads of little tiny spiders run at you and they blow up and they hurt you and they kill you so if you have something that has really good hit fire or a shotgun to just kill them as they're getting close very very useful here the boss has the same mechanics in that you have to knock his shell off and shoot his gooey insides and he also has a couple of extra attacks where he will kind of cock his bomb up in the air and fire fire around the map if you just get close to him or really far away from him you're not really going to have to worry about this because he kind of covers the mid-range of the map with it so you've just got to dodge that kill some spiders do the same thing you did by knocking his shell off and shooting his gooey inside now his third phase once you get him down to one third health left you'll get an animation and he turns into a big hentai worm and this is a little bit more difficult i don't know exactly where his like more critical shot spots are i think it's on his head but you can't really realistically look up and shoot him in the head while you're in this fight because of the mechanics but all i did was i just hit fired the little orange circles that are at the bottom of the the worm's shaft as to say and i did notice a little bit of an increase in damage but nothing drastic however the actual mechanics here are very different to everything you've seen in the fight as you are going through this there's little things that you have to do here and there and avoid but the one main 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 move that you have to 100 dodge is his kind of fire spin attack so as you're standing there you'll see blue lines go across the floor in all different directions what that indicates is that there's going to be a firewall that goes across that blue line and then it's going to slowly turn and you know like chase you and if you get caught up in that firewall you will burn to death very very quickly so what i do on this fight is basically i wait for the blue lines to come up so i know that i'm beyond it or you know behind it and i run with it so as it's turning i run behind it or run just ahead of it and i just hip fire my weapon at him while i'm running and you know if you've got twisted rounds like i say you can end this really quickly but it's just a rinse and repeat of just avoiding that firewall spin move now there's probably little things here and there that i kind of forgot but it didn't really stand out as anything problematic but these are the basic mechanics you have to knock the shell off shoot his gooey inside shoot all his gooey insides to kill him um, avoid the spiders that he spawns in and then just avoid any kind of blue marker that you see on the map whether it's a big circle that he's going to jump into and land sometimes he'll fire fire straight ahead of him you know he's got the one that he sprays across mid map you've just got to look for the blue markings and avoid them and then in the last phase you've just got to constantly be moving constantly on the run 
and shoot him till he dies. I just want to say though, this whole fight was just incredible. We did it as a team of three first, and it was extremely difficult, partly because we were dealing with a lot of lag and frame rate loss, but it was so much more harder with more people. When I did it on my own with the trickster and um, the twisted rounds, it felt really easy, but it didn't feel super easy, which was very interesting because I was on world tier five as well. I didn't put my world tier up. So, you know, even on world tier five, even with twisted rounds, it still felt like somewhat of a challenge. Now, I can't imagine what this would be like on world tier five. I feel like it's going to be unbelievably difficult, but I'm excited for that. The challenge in this game is very difficult very 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 obvious as you go through the world tiers but i think once you start getting your gear up and stuff it's going to be a lot more fun it's just that initial push in the full game feels like a real drag trying to get up to the power level that you need to be to fight on the world tier that you're on but this boss was incredible i hope there's a hell of a lot more monsters and fights like this rather than just like reflecting bullets at human targets this is just incredible. So let me know what you think so far about the full game if you're playing it. What you think about this boss. Did you struggle on it? Did you see any other tactics that I missed out? Leave some comments down below. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. Go to Twitter, link in the video description if you want to. If you don't too, that's fine. Thank you for watching. I've been Easy Now. You guys have been awesome.